Hi beauties, I'm here with something that I have been wanting to do for the longest uh, because it is out of my comfort zone. I am going to show you how to do your makeup with minimal products. And what I mean by minimal, it's minimal. You know, there are many people out there like that. They feel so overwhelmed if they have too much of anything. So they will try to have one of each and that is it one that works for everything or for most things you know for their daily use i'm not saying that everybody is like that but a lot of people do tend to do that for their everyday minimalists tend to do that with their clothing their shoes and some even with their makeup which is the reason for this video so let me show you what i have here that is going to help me do this look today i'm not the minimal person at all when it comes to makeup as you can see in the back you already see that there's what one two three four palettes right there and uh i try many different things so this here is what i think a minimal person would have in their makeup like this is it and usually it's one of everything and the most uh versatile colors so here we go i'm going to show you first of all before anything else this is as minimal as i can get with brushes you need a uh, kabuki or big uh, fluffy brush for uh, powders. I have one for a blush. I have one for a bronzer. I have one for a highlighter. Those are the face ones. And then I did my best to pick two that I could use, you know, double-ended for eyeshadow. Yes, very minimal. I'm a little concerned here, but we'll make this work eyebrow pencil in the closest color for my brows and eyeliner in one of the most used colors brown or black and then a white one for brightening the eye not everybody as a minimal person would have this but uh if you are at my age or older brightening your under eye is a good thing to do so i went ahead and chose that a primer an eyelid primer uh, not everybody uses a primer, but again, it's one thing that I suggest you use uh, to keep your eyeshadow intact. Uh, face primer, again, not everybody uses it. They just stay with moisturizer, which is fine, but your makeup lasts longer with that. A lip liner. Most people will use a nude. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is what I had handy, so I went ahead and got that one, but a lip liner. A lipstick one that's nude as well or close to nude lip gloss uh i went ahead and got a lipstick and a lip gloss because most people will have one of each just in case uh uh liner uh eyeliner and i went ahead and got black because that, that's what most people use i'm not one of those i do like colors uh mascara for the uh top lash and the bottom foundation concealer pressed powder for setting the under eye and for setting the rest of the face I just went ahead and got one uh, because uh, again as a person that just tries to stay with the minimal amount of products you will usually just see them have one loose powder or one setting powder and that uh, or a uh, pressed powder and that is it one that works for everything again a very versatile product and then uh, I have a face palette and why I say a face palette is because the person that wants to be minimal and uh, carry everything in one palette will choose one like this that has blush bronzer highlighter and the rest so uh, this is all for, you know, eyeshadows that you could use during the day or at night, make it smoky, and then of course the rest of the face. So this is all in one, which works great. And then the setting spray. Most people don't use setting spray, but again, it is something that helps lock down your makeup. So I went ahead and got one of everything, and here we go. Uh, this is going to be fun. I already have moisturizer. I already have a uh, under eye serum and now it is time to get busy. Primer. I'm telling you, this is 
gonna be interesting. Lid primer. This is the Sheer from e.l.f. Very affordable one. And the primer that I use for my face is from L'Oreal, the Miracle Blur, which is one that I like and also very affordable. I honestly don't know if they still make it. Oh, I forgot. I didn't show you the sponge. Okay, now that my face is primed, we're gonna go in with this CoverGirl plus Olay Simple Ageless, which has been uh, one of my go-tos this summer. And summer is basically over, but we are going to use this for this video. Sponge, this is a BH Cosmetics sponge, and we will be using this for the makeup and the concealer. So here we go. What I do is I go ahead and um, pump, just do one pump, just on the back of my hand. Get it with the sponge, go to work. Usually for daily coverage, one pump, and maybe a half do the job with this foundation. I mean, it, it's great coverage. Go down to my neck. Now we're gonna do the concealer. See, one pump, minimal, minimal. If you are somebody that is minimal, let me know if this is minimal enough for you. What I do, this is the concealer, and I didn't show you the concealer. I showed it to you at the beginning but I didn't show it to you right now. The concealer that I'm using is by BH Cosmetics as well. Now I do usually use a smaller sponge to apply concealer, but since we're trying to stay with, you know, what most people have is one beauty sponge, or I won't say what most people have, I'll say what a person that thinks minimal will have, or that doesn't uh, wear a lot of makeup, enough coverage, and now to set it. How do you set it if all you have is this in the brushes? Same thing, I just go in with the sponge, twirl it in there a little bit, set the, the under eye, most importantly. Now I was going to do this video live, but I wanted to go ahead and do one for the channel first and then do a live one a different day. Now, to set the rest of the face, go in with this brush, same powder. I don't apply a lot, of setting powder all over my face because I got dry skin. So whatever little bit I get, I just put it all over. Now, we're gonna do the eyeshadow last. So in here, we have the highlighter, the bronzer, and the blush. We're gonna go in with this complexion uh, brush by e.l.f. into the bronzer. I love this palette. It is uh, not the cheapest palette. I mean, now you could probably find it cheaper but it is a very nice palette. Oh, and if you don't like fragrances, you won't like this palette because it smells like chocolate, or at least that's the smell I get out of it, like a little chocolate smell. So I apply bronzer, forehead, cheeks, bring it down to my neck. And if you see that the bronzer, you brought it down too much, then you just go back in with this, the brush. I like the brush. Some people, like the sponge, but I say sponge when you want the look to be more chiseled. But if you want it just, you know, everyday look, I think the brush. And then we go in with the blush. Actually, I'm gonna do the highlighter first with this brush right here. And this is by Sigma, the Powder Sweep F06. And the reason I do the highlighter first is because uh, I enjoy Lately, I've been enjoying putting the blush over it in case the highlighter is like super light or like this. I do bring my highlighter this way. For some reason, I enjoy that it goes up to my brow. I like the way it looks. Do the nose, do the forehead. Just with the little bit that I already got, do a little more for the cupid's bow. The blush with this, this is a dollar brush, people. I love the way it applies my blush. Pat and go, pat and go. And again, if you see that it's too pink or peach, let's go back in with the brush that you used for the setting powder and not adding any more powder. You just bring it down a notch. That's how that works. Now, the eyeshadow. But before we do that, we already have primer we are going to do our brows. And easiest way to do it, this is an LA Colors brow pencil. 
nothing fancy and you can use whatever pencil you have and I just shape my brow and I do the back first and then bring up Okay, brows are pretty much done, but if you wish to clean up the bottom, the best thing to do is get a little bit of your concealer, a little flat brush. I know this one, I use it for my eyeliner, but I will need that for my eyeliner today. So you just get a little bit of the concealer on the brush and uh, make sure you can clean the bottom. Cleaning up the bottom makes a big difference. And of course you can do the top as well. Don't be alarmed if your uh, eyebrows don't look exactly the same. They are sisters. They are not identical twins, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's go for this. We are going to use this as the base, just all over the eye. I must say that I did not clean this brush very well because the color is not looking the way it looks on the pan, but anyways. Then we're gonna do this as the transition shade using the same brush, bring it up a bit. And then we're gonna use this part right here for uh, this color right here. And it's gonna be to give a little more depth and bring it into the crease. So you start at the corner and swipe in. If that's all the depth you would want, then you just add a color to your lid. But I'm wearing black and white today, so we're gonna add a little bit of this darker chocolate tone. Same brush, and we're gonna pat it. And then bring it in. We'll have to do this. It just depends on how, how much depth and smokiness you want in your look. And to bring this and marry it together. Not using anything else on this brush, just whatever it already has, I am blending it. And now to add a color to the lid, and what I'm going to do is I am going to use this side of this brush with this gold tone right here. And I like spraying my brushes, so we're gonna spray it with this CoverGirl setting spray. You know, a lot of CoverGirl today and sure did bring a lot of pigment out with that spray. Spray it again for the other eye. Now to make sure that um, your corner is blended in quite nicely and to give the middle just a tiny bit more liveliness, we're gonna go into that highlighter just with the finger and look at that. Same brush to use for the corner of my eye with the highlighter, you want that. And I always bring it down a bit because I like my the corner of my eye to be highlighted even to the bottom, just a little bit. And with the same one, we're gonna do the brow. Now, just blending everything in for one last time and brightening the eye with this white eyeliner. Not everybody does this, not everybody has to, but I like to. This is a Sephora eyeliner. I think I got it for the holidays, Sephora brand. With the same little brush down here, I am going to go in to this color here. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then of course the mascara, not to forget about that. I'm using Pixie here. Now you can curl your lashes. Uh, if you have a curler, I do have one, but I didn't get it. So we're just doing it this way. I do like this Pixie mascara. It's really nice. It's the first Pixie mascara I own and I have enjoyed it. Actually, I believe I got it in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, if I'm not mistaken. And what I like about it is that it has dual mascara it has the one for the bottom lash and the one for the top almost done lip liner and then we're going to use a smashbox that lip liner is by stila and the name of that color is cabernet which i like a lot 
And then finally, the setting spray. And I like to go in after the setting spray and doing this just to make sure that everything is in place. And there you have it. This is the look that I got with only these products right here. Basically acting like this is all I had available to use or you know for someone that this is all they have as a um little makeup case i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that there isn't you make what you have work and that's what i did i used the minimal amount of products because i wanted to show you that even if you have a small amount or one of each you can still get a great look out of it and then when it comes to brushes, again, this is about as minimal as I could do, which is six brushes in total, and then a beauty sponge. Now, if you would like for me to show you how you can get a look with only using one brush or just the beauty sponge or your fingers, anything like that, comment below and let me know. I will be doing this video live uh, pretty soon. And if you wish for me to do something different. Let me know. I'll see you on my next one.